everybody and welcome to Level 10 Gamer's first video! Today we're playing Scrap Mechanics and for those of you who don't know who that is, it's a... well, it's basically just a game where you build stuff in a free open world with no rules or laws or anything. So, here's to Level 10 Gamer's first video. Um, this is not what I was going to show you today and uh, I thought I'd start off by showing you my house which I've built and um, here it is the monstrosity um, has a few features some intricate door locks and um, well it didn't turn out as powerful as I wanted it to be but I put in this little sign up here which as you can see there's a bunch of different locks and if you push the wrong one you kind of get pushed off to the side. I was hoping it was gonna smack me all of the way into the horizon but it just didn't. Anyway, enough of that. Let's start with our locks. We have these um, rotation locks and we have a ram lock and something I like to call a tooth lock. I'll um, walk you through them. First, to get in, we have to disengage the tooth lock, which is this one. No, not that was not a tooth lock. That was the ram lock and the rotation lock, which works like so. Oh, well, of course, now that has to jam up. Oh, come on. Seriously? Work just a second ago. And of course, now this. There we go. Well, enough of that. Works fairly easy. It's just a matter of. Let's see, close the doors and close the lock. And now it works. The button activates these RAM, no, these um, uh, rotation locks, which in turn, when they move, they open this little device, which is a um, proximity sensor, which again activates this function. I can show you how this works. If I just delete this, see, it's basically just an arm. Uh, that sort of just rolls out nice and easy and locks into these. See, door can't be opened. And there you go. Now, I can show you the tooth lock. Maybe, let's see if I can do that from the inside. Close off the door. Yeah, I'm going to have to go outside and fix that. Then, I can show you that afterwards. So, in the undying words of Fat Bastard, Where's your shitter? Well, here it is. See? Sink, shitter, and shower. And, well can sit here and do your business and when you're done flushes see works great oh forgot to patch that up you can't have holes in your walls when you're in the shower it turns out that may you may end up people looking in and you don't want that so basically this is the interior there's a kitchen half finished electronic box, food and stuff, and grass. Everybody has to have grass for medicinal purposes, of course. And, uh, well, well, I can show you the lift. I have a lift to the terrace on the f roof. Of course, this I built one block too long and I can't be asked to take it off. Takes us up to the 
terrace on the roof. Ooh, I just see the part. I'm gonna have a fail trip with that. There's nothing here yet, just yet. And as you probably notice, uh, there's a two-way switch system, which I've set up like so. You can see uh, some controllers and stuff. I'll show you the wiring. One controller controls each bearing, and one button controls this is the button that's inside controls each of these controllers and I've set these controllers to 30 degrees because that works quicker than when you put them on 90 what happens is if I press this button this block goes and uh, over here and it activates this proximity switch if I were to activate this button down here it would move the entire thing a little bit over here about 30 degrees to be exact and this would again then deactivate this uh, pr proximity switch and send the lift back up so that's how that works um, well now I've done it can I reach it from here yes I see and the lift comes up works great doesn't it well, close this off. Not for public. And come on. No. Oh, oh wait. And the same concept I've used on the door locks, for those of you wondering. That's over here on this side. Built in. Uh, has the same settings. Same everything, actually. See? Works so that you have a button from the inside and from the outside to open the door. Uh, which is kind of handy. Just, unless you'll just want lock yourself in. Okay, so I can show this tooth lock down here now. Um, that's disengaged, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, good. Now. Let's go back inside. Yeah, I could just delete a wall, but I choose not to because I'm going to have to rebuild and that's work and I have enough of that really. Okay, so tooth lock is basically just an arm that falls down and on these, on this plate, there are these small toothy bits. Three of them, which, oh, staircase witch these um, lock into the door and keep it in case somebody tries to break in which currently isn't available in this game but someday maybe um, what more is there oh yeah I have uh, of course every house needs a rear exit which in this house is hidden here's my bedroom nice bedroom window like a f jail but for now so if for some reason I can't get up the lift or get out the door this flip the switch and it opens a secret compartment in my desk and flip this we have a door this is set to a timer so it just sort of closes off afterwards So that's basically it for my house at the moment. Um, there you go. I will be adding things as I go along, or if I found find them. Uh, when it comes to level 10 gamers in general, we'll be doing some movies of this game. Uh, we're planning on having some build contests and some other stuff that I've seen other people do as well. Uh, we're three guys at the moment and uh, we're both, all three of us are fathers of little children and big children so we're kind of busy so we'll try to do our ga gaming videos as fast as we can but please be patient and of course subscribe and you'll get a little notification in your email when there's something new. Well, that's it for now. Bye.